it is all it's just very delayed and not a lot of troops out uh, iris's economy must have just been absolutely battered here and oh this probe's actually going to be able to sneak underneath and maybe plant a pylon okay it does plant a pylon but that's not going to last very long for the delay nice little maneuver there by bisu though Mine cleared off the front door, and SCVs, and it looks like the missile turrets already on the way, just in case Dark Templar were being produced. And that should be enough to deal with, actually, I think Bisu... Well, let's see what he does. I think his best option, actually, is go for another quick expansion and play that game. Actually, has a, a pylon blockading to the south, so should Iris decide to take an, another quick expansion, he's going to need to clear that out to get those those probes, or I'm sorry, those SCVs out there quickly and easily. Going Observer first, and also the Citadel. Looks like he's actually sticking to two base tech. Might go for that quick arbiter adjustment again, and let's see if it pays out. Iris still at one factory. Doesn't look like he's thinking about getting aggressive with the economy. Of course, he's going to take a second factory probably for his additional base. And Bisu actually has a significant amount of troops on the ground, so pretty nice economic harassment there to start with just the one gateway, and I think that did, in fact, put him somewhat ahead. Some Dragoons moving across that north lane. It looks like he is moving in position to take that 12 o'clock, and it looks like Bisu is, in fact, going to go for that quick Arbiter build. And I feel like Arbiter is actually more effective on this map than they are Carthage. Just, you have that nice little ridge where you can go in, you can recall right across there. It's usually where the supply depots are at, sometimes right when those, alongside where those factory units are popping out. It's very difficult for Terran opponents to kind of flood all the way back there. So a good recall really could end this game. Third gateway going up. So Bisu actually going to go for the Arbiter tech rather than kind of pushing up. Iris some, for some very nice SCV saturation there on a secondary. It looks like his economy is pretty well recovered. So if, as long as it stays like this, he's going to be able to take a lead, getting another factory at kind of an odd position. I think he's a little bit wary of the ar uh, of the recalls and whatnot, which is why he's kind of placing troops a little bit to the side. Uh, Bisu mm, taking a few hits on that observer. It looks like he's going to be able to wander it out without taking too much damage there, though. And that SCV, yeah, coming to the south now, seeing at least a pylon, but nothing else. And Bisu now taking that 1 o'clock, uh, going to be able to use the troops plus the higher level tech to defend it and, and try to take the economic lead that way. Again, I think one key recall could be the difference in this game, though. I just have a hunch on it, and there's that factory to the north still. That factory is actually kind of separated and very far out from the rest of the bases and armory kind of at the forward position. So Iris looks like he's planning on going for more, and there's that tank to clear that pylon. He's going for more of a, and I like that pylon actually, 100 minerals to know when your opponent's taking the base and to force him to, to pull a unit out there to take care of it. So I think that's worth the, the 100 minerals and the supply. I guess an observer would be better for it, but Bisu working with what he's got, and, with, with what he's got. And also it's just kind of an annoyance factor. Iris now moving out. And this is kind of the key territory here, is holding this territory and also holding that 6 o'clock. And that's, again, why that recall can be so powerful, because you have to gather all of your troops and get them from far off locations back through. But it looks like, okay, nice comp set to see. Look, I think he's going to see all of those gateways going down, a lot of gateways being pumped. I think he went, went up to 6. I didn't get a good count. Which and he's also got that nexus to the north here, pumping for him. And but he needs to hurry up and do something because if Iris does get a stranglehold on this kind of midfield, which it looks like he's establishing right now, he will end up just being able to sit back and hold the game. Starport now being produced. I don't think he's going to go for any vulture drops. I think that is just for the science vessel play. Just the way things are looking, though, I think those arbiters are going to be out well before the science vessels are in position really to provide a good amount of detection out in the field. And I think there is going to be either a good stasis or a good recall out for Bisu. Looks like a vulture just kind of hanging out there at the bottom right, maybe wanting to plant a mine, stop that expansion from going up. A couple dragoons going across that northern border to clear out a vulture there. Oddly, no vulture. And just now leg speed, so very delayed in leg speed as well. Uh, kind of odd that that vulture didn't plant a mine there to stop that base from being produced here. I guess Iris wanting to save it for the main attack force. Bisu opening up that back middle line. And Bisu being very aggressive, it looks like he's going to try to take another expansion to the 12 o'clock and just try to outproduce Iris's kind of turtle Terran style and feel like he's uh, solidly economically ahead. Just kind of take over the entire map now while Iris is just establishing... Uh, kind of his positions on the map, Iris getting stopped back by those pylons to the north. It's a little bit risky though, because there's still enough maneuvering room. Because then you end up in the same pro with the same problem that the Terran had, where you are not a maneuverable enough army to defend all that territory, and he has more powerful units to kind of run around with, or he can be he has more annoying units to run around with. Vultures so fast, so frustrating out in the field, and it looks like Iris, yeah, doing something very similar to last game, except I think it's a more effective strategy on this game, uh, in this match. And although with that economic harassment at the front, it looks like Bisu is going to be in a better position with his arbiters 
uh, towards towards the early. So if he goes in for a good attack, neither can stop. If he can take out that six early, or again go for a recall along that back edge, I think it'll be really worthwhile. And it's a lot easier, I think, to execute an attack. Second armory now being produced. I think weapons one is just about finished. And Iris not actually in position. He doesn't have the defenses out. Looks like he's going to get have that science vessel produced, but he's not going to have the mines really in position. Just as I say that, he's planting them now. But here he comes. Uh, the arbiter actually moving in. I thought that was the recall we were going to see right there. And the dragoons look like they're in position for a recall, but the mines coming just in time, just in time for Iris. And wow, and a complete seal off to the north. So this arbiter is going to have a lot of work cut out for it. And now is the time for Bisu if he's going to do what looks like I think he's trying to do. Uh, and Iris, actually, you can see he's got that huge army just waiting to pounce on top of that. He's right on top of this. Ooh, yeah, so he was expecting that. He's in good position. So Bisu going to have to hold off on that. Looks like he's gathering up with the shuttle. And I think this is Bisu's opportunity to just try to take every expansion on the map while Iris is back and hope that Iris doesn't comsat and doesn't get aggressive with it and just try to brutally outproduce him here into the mid game. A lot of zealots running up, actually. So it looks like Bisu's thinking about going for a full, uh, full attack here. I don't think that's the location to do it from from the north. If he can do it from the other edge, he might have more success, but that's still a lot of troops uh, flooding around, and Iris looks like he's in a pretty solid position. He's got, he's got the detection, uh, but one or two good stasis could really spell the difference, and Bisu is in fact pushing in. The, it looks like no mines, not enough mines planted in the front just yet, and he's going to run in. He's got enough detection. Arbiter running up. Let's see, stasising a good amount of tanks, a couple vultures. He only got one take with that stasis, but the zealots pressing all the way in. Looks like they are going to be able to get that back line, so Bisu's going to be able to crush this front door. Beautiful attack here. Just overwhelming troop count. Able to run right in. Take out, looks like, the rest of the Goliaths. And I think I was fooled alongside with Iris. I think um, he's kind of positioning like, oh, I'm going to go for a recall. I'm going with a lower troop count. When, in fact, he's just pumping troops this entire time. Uh, nice little defensive matrix. But Bisu's already breached. He's going to be able to move all of these units in and take out the secondary. And I think he just won the game with that maneuver. Brilliant maneuver from Bisu. Uh, and, yeah, now pressing into this 6 o'clock. There's GG from Iris. And that's what I was saying. Not a good map for Iris. He's not good with this defense much better with aggression. Bisu taking it. It's going to a fifth set. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.